Mm, how is the market? Is it booming? <laughs> the market is definitely <laughs> so not booming. The market is not booming? No. Mm. Why yeah. is the market is not booming? The market is not booming depending on what you own about. Is it for the sellers or the buyers? Which one? If I look at the there is a seller's market, there is a buyer's market. So, so it's what are we calling? Mm. We are on the seller's market or the buyer's market. Mm. Buyer's market can them in housing in terms of buyer's market occurs when there are plenty of homes available but not enough qualified buyers to absorb them. Mm. Okay. Plenty. So there isn't plenty. No, there isn't. You are gonna kid here and say there isn't. Oh, yeah. hmm. that's, so that's messed up. Eh? And that is why uh, there is, and that is why the prices are high because there isn't a lot of properties available, available in the market. Mm. So in essence we can say we are at a we are in a seller's market. Mm. Because sellers they are trying to dictate the price. I mean, the properties that I've been seeing that they are ridiculously priced. Mm -hmm. Ridiculously, especially the one that we want to see. Yo, now I'm a property here. Uh, a six nine nine. A two bedroom here, six nine nine. Ka ka interest rate here now here now eleven point seven five. It it basically yeah. means for a. Then if you. How much are you gonna make on that property mm. to cover that? Mm. I'm looking at what someone's in the zone with the, the agent in the zone. Our rental income is 7,000. And you know, agents, they like exaggerating prices. Yeah. Yeah. So you will find that it's not even true that the rental income is 7,000. Did they give you proof? They haven't given me proof. What are the ladies? The ladies, Babu and Babu want to meet. I doubt it's okay. I mean, I still want to. I said to them, uh, they must send me everything. One or two thousand. Cantora is one of those buildings mm. which was really in the past years it wasn't doing really good. So I can really want oh, the label. Probably there would be a special day. So they yes. can cover up the finances. Yes, so they can say so 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 the agent may tell you about mm. the may tell you about they may tell you about the levies but not tell you about a special levy and i think always ask the um, statement monthly statement mm. so we see at least three months with monthly statements to see how how the money fluctuates mm. the levies fluctuate but i didn't ask that in fact i asked it when i bought your property my was from that one. Uh, that's a lie. <laughs> I asked for it. I asked for all the evidence. No, no, no. I it, was, it was a quick transaction because you just wanted to get in and finish. Of course. Mm. No. No, you wanted to sell quickly. I wanted to get a hand on the property. Okay. Yes, uh, uh, yeah. Then I was stuck with the tenant who was paying. The same amount for flipping three years, four years, imagine no rental increment because you have money and I don't. Now I, like <laughs> then I have to be stuck with someone that's paying the same and then be telling you, no, I've been paying this, blah, blah, blah. You and, have you, other properties. and you are giving me an advice, yeah, no, this is a good tenant. Okay. So, 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 yes. I mean, we have to look at a property as an individual asset. Uh, true. Um, and that's why I was saying to you, uh, based on the other property that we went to do yesterday, I was saying that mm. if we are doing that deal, uh, we should ensure that we should ensure that um, we kind of have enough rental income. And even if we don't have rent enough rental income, we must accommodate the tenants in right. What happens if tenants in the we must ensure that we are coming with them. Yeah. Mm. We need to have something else on that structure. Mm. Is this calculations from last? Mm. You know what? I have been thinking about it 
since that day, mm. you know what we forgot to calculate mm. the payment. I can we refinance it. Yes. We didn't calculate the, the, the payment. Mm. Mm. It does not factor. Mm. I thought about No, it. but but this is what I did. We're one of that price. Which now the lighting here is in the middle of the night. I can't even see the water. How can but, you not see wearing those things? No, I don't know. I don't know. Like, these lights are just on my oh, face. Oh, too much. Mm. But I think there's a... What's that amount? That's on top of the 40,000. It's 120, ne? Yeah. I think minusing that from that 270, I minus 150k for <coughs> just being... It was an estimate of what the entire cost of the bond would be. Okay. So oh, I think that was included, plus the all the expenses that should be had, that was included more than I don't need. Mm -hmm. That's why I can't because the, 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 the income, I mean the profit might, be. might just be around 50,000. I mean even if it's 30,000, mm -hmm. it's, it's okay. As long as you're on the positive. Mm -hmm. on the positive. Mm -hmm. As long as you're on the positive. So I was speaking to the team this morning mm -hmm. and Udli Udli company will be on Tuesday to, mm -hmm. to discuss possible partnership. I almost said something ridiculous. What's something ridiculous? Mas vou dar meu dinheiro na pop 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 pop. I almost said something ridiculous, but I said it another time. Mm. Okay. If okay, if that that was it then when are we starting this thing? Okay. We need to start it. What I this? Need to, yeah, we need to start it. I mean the due diligence is already the due diligence is already mm. underway. If everything goes well next week. Okay. Tuesday. You, you said Wednesday. that we're doing one of our three properties, right? Mm. They said uh, the, the one that we saw for Sunnyside. What's that? The one that we went to go view. Right. Now that it. What was it? Oh, that one. That one. Do you know that, that, do that, you know that, uh, that big one? Um, it's it's 22. Mm. Which one? Okay. That was Sunnyside. Mm. It's 20, that big one. With the bachelors and the two bedrooms and one okay. bedroom, it's twenty-two, okay. and we're gonna do a twenty-two there in Nigeria. Uh, what did you say? How much was it? Six no, we, we definitely. I I I think I told you we bought that property again, listed by another agent for fifty million. So that already, and I I then informed the uh, uh, agent that took me there. Yeah. And that informed me to say, I was actually right to say the maximum price that one can pay for that property was sixty million. Mm -hmm. um, and and one. Mm. Mm -hmm. so therefore, uh, the reasonable offer that one should make is thirty. I mean, hypothetically, just speaking, without having crash, crash, uh, without cr crunching any numbers, um, I can simply deduct three million from that. If now it's currently listed for 14.99995. 15. Mm, 15 million, so yeah. So I mean if you make a 13 million, but I don't think that guy will get property will not sell anytime soon. For that yeah. ridiculous price of 22 million. Uh, and that's why so much work to be done there. Mm, it's a seller's market. Mm. However, sellers are not really going to win as such. Because the interest rate is killing people. Okay. <laughs> no one has interest to buy. No. Mm. People are not even planning on buying in cinema, especially when it comes to house property. Yeah.